Hello, my name is Severin Novak. I'm in the technical support team here at GEM Software, and today I'm going to show you the first steps in setting up Space Observer. Let's start with the installation. Um, the first thing we need to consider when installing the Space Observer is the scan service uh, logon account. So basically, this Space Observer uses a scan service to scan everything, and you want to decide in the installation whether you want to use a dedicated account, otherwise the Space Observer will use the standard service account, which might lead to a, a connection problem with the database when you use the Windows authentication uh, for the connection. So let's just enter my credentials here and then we can continue. When first opening the Space Observer, the Space Observer uh, shows you this message where you can choose which database you want to use. Um, there are a few different types of database uh, you can use the, with the Space Observer. For example, we can use an existing SQL Server, which can be like MS SQL, MySQL or Oracle, or you could install a free SQL Express, MS SQL Express version. and or use the Space Observer Embedded Database. One thing to note is that the Space Observer Embedded Database is easy to use because the Space Observer automatically configures everything, but we only recommend it to use in testing purposes or with little amounts of data because uh, performance with the Space Observer Embedded Database is not good with larger amounts of data set. You can also install a free SQL Express version, um, which is more capable with dealing larger data, but the SQL Express version has a limit of 10 gigabytes per database, which might, uh, depending on what you want to scan, might be reached with the Space Observer. So we always recommend in larger environments to use an existing SQL Server or like MySQL, MS SQL, or Oracle. So we just set up the database connection. As you can see on the button left, we already have some scans configured uh, in this database, but we'll just start from with this new scan from scratch. So for this, I'm going to click on Add Scan, and I get this window where I can configure uh, what I want to scan. For example, I can go to more here and then just select something that I want to scan. For example, my picture folder. And then I can directly set up a schedule for how the Space Observer or how often the Space Observer should update the data of the scan. So I have always an up to date data on this particular scan. For example, I can set up something like, like every day eight o'clock in the morning. Here we have some additional options we can choose when configuring a scan, for example, a different user account to scan and this directory, or I can choose to calculate MD5 checksums for more accurate duplicate files, which I can select now. And also I can calculate permissions and store them in the database, which will allow me to check uh, permissions on files and folders. Both of these options may affect the scanning speed, so they are re normally deactivated. After we created a scan, uh, I can now go to Scan Configure Scans and view all the different scans that I've set up here. And I can then also reconfigure anything like the settings I've earlier made, or I can just update the schedule that I want to use. I can also oh, set up how long I want to keep scan data on a database per scan or some extra uh, filters or other settings for the different scans. One thing to note here is I have some containers configured here. What a container does is basically just grouping different scans together in a container. Uh, which I can, what I can also do is just 
uh, grouping containers also into containers to create a hierarchical structure. For example, I can use this test container and group it in a different container and then also use this con the other multiple scan targets container to also group it in a container. And I can then load the entire container and get all the different uh, analysis via the complete container, not for only for the single scan targets. Another thing that is specific for the Space Observer is that the Space Observer can create uh, automatic reports based on your configuration of the scan schedule. You can find those in the scan configuration under post scan actions automated reporting. Uh, those post scan actions are basically things that the Space Observer triggers after a scan was finished. For example, I have a post scan action here uh, under automated reporting that can generate uh, different files and views from the Space Observer UI directly after a scan was finished or it could be sent via email directly to me. When adding a post scan action, I can configure what I want to export under export. For example, uh, every post scan action is based on the directory tree. I can then select uh, the file format that I want to export. For example, I'm just going to export an Excel file here and I can also include different charts or lists like the duplicate files list as well to be exported. Uh, and yeah, so I can export basically every view I have available in the Space Observer. And if I just save this task, I can then name it and it w uh, will be automatically generated after each scan. Here we can see now the different files that I have created for this particular scan. And if I just open it, I get an Excel file with the regular scan, which is just basically the first lab, uh, which is the directory tree of the expert. And also I get the duplicate files directly in the Excel file as well. For post scan actions, you also have the options for data lifecycle operations, which we configure uh, to be done after a scan. If I just add one, I can here uh, configure a Mac file h for different files. What this does is, for example, if I want to only affect files that haven't been uh, modified in the last two years, I can configure this and, for example, just delete those files or move them to a different location. I also have some other options uh, for this operation, like uh, creating a log where I want to uh, create uh, view what happened during this operations or delete empty directories or a bunch of different options uh, that I can configure for this file operation based on the timestamp. Uh, I can also name that and create it for each different scan if I want to manage some files based on the different ages of the files. That's all. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, find more information about the Space Observer on our website and see you again soon.